Welcome back everyone. This video is a tribute to all the stars who created wonderful memories for us, and we honor their lasting legacy. But before we start, let me know if you recognize any of the following actors and actresses. When did you notice them for the first time and how old were you? Do you have any particularly nostalgic recollections of them? Let me know in the comments section below. From the 1950s through the 1980s, Edward Brian Andrews Jr. was one of the most recognized character actors on television and in movies. Andrews passed away at his home in Pacific Palisades on March 8, 1985 from a, a heart attack. The actress Esther Howard portrayed a wide range of supporting roles, ranging from man-hungry spinsters to amoral criminals, appearing in 108 films in her 23-year screen career. On March 8, 1965, Howard was 72 years old when he died of a heart attack in Los Angeles, California. The American Stage Film and television actor George Morphogen was known for playing Bob Rebadow in the HBO series Oz and Stanley Bernstein in the original V miniseries. Morphogen died on March 8, 2019, just 22 days before his 86th birthday. Harold Clayton Lloyd appeared in many silent comedy films as an actor, comedian, and stunt performer. Between 1914 and 1947, Lloyd made nearly 200 silent and talk-like comedy films, making him one of the most influential film comedians of the silent era. At the age of 77, Lloyd died in his Beverly Hills, California, Greenacre's home of prostate cancer on March 8, 1971. His most famous role was in Universal Pictures' Werewolf of London, for most of his career, Henry Watterson Hull was a lead actor on stage and a character actor on screen. He died after a stroke on March 8, 1977 in Cornwall at the age of 86. During her time at the Pasadena Playhouse, Karen Morley caught the attention of the director Clarence Brown, who was looking for an actress to stand in for Greta Garbo in screen tests, which led to a contract with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer. She died in Woodland Hills, California, from pneumonia at the age of 93. Swedish-French actor Max von Sydow appeared in more than 150 films and television series in multiple languages during his 70-year career in European and American cinema, television, and theater. He became a French citizen in 2002 and lived in France for the last two decades. Von Sido, 90, died on March 8, 2020 at his home in Provence. Pastorelli was a skilled character actor in the 1980s and 1990s, but his career declined after the death of his girlfriend at his home in 1999 under mysterious circumstances. In 2004, Pastorelli died of a narcotic overdose at his home in the Hollywood Hills. Pastorelli was 49 years old at the time of his death. As an actor, stage director, and dramatist, Ronald Henry Pember played a variety of roles. During his 30-year career, he played character roles in British television productions between the 1970s and the 1980s, usually in bit parts or as a support character. At 87 years old, he died in March 2022. The English actor, screenwriter, and songwriter Trevor Edward Peacock became known for his Shakespearean roles after making his name as a theater actor. Later in his life, he played Jim Trott in the BBC comedy series The Vicar of Dibley and died at the age of 89 on March 8th. 2021.